So I thought we'd just have a little look at um, these new sanders I got in from uh, Infini, or Infini, uh, which is the Ultra Precision series. So uh, I mentioned these in an update a month or so ago, and um, I think since then they've released another set as well. Uh, and so we run through some different grits here. Uh, it's quite extensive. So what we've got is we run through from 400 to 7,000. Now these are a little bit different and um, I don't know if I've quite uh, got the best out of them yet. They certainly seem to be different when you compare them to this range of um, Infini sandy sanding sticks, which are like the spongy type piece of plastic card running through. These are a lot coarser, so we've got two 400s here for instance, and as we're running through, uh, they're, they're totally different from a feel point of view, whether or not, uh, you know, whether or not that's the case or not, I don't know, but, um, so, the best way to work out what's going on here is using them in action. So here, I've got a bit of a nasty um, join here that I need to blend right the way through, so let's have a look what they do. I have found when I've been using them with paint uh, that they actually um, get full of well, they fill up with paint very quickly and then you can't get it off. Um, usually the other one isn't too bad, you just give it a wipe. Uh, but this is with the 400, and already, I mean, if I was going through this with a 400 from their other range, uh, I'd be obliterating stuff, whereas this is, well, as it says, it's a lot more precise. This is a bit of sprue goo going on here, Tamiya sprue goo. And it's going through that, actually, very nicely, I would say. Surprisingly well, actually. Um, I've cleaned it twice. That's all I'm mentioning. It's staying on there a lot more than um, the other ones. You, they, they don't clean as well, it seems. Uh, but whether that's an issue or not, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, you can... They cut very well, uh, these as well. Not like I've actually cut these, but you, you can cut them down and make them into sort of uh, like skinny or finny or, you know, narrow sanding sticks uh, to not use a brand. Uh, one thing I will say, I've used um, all the main sort of competitors in the sanding stick range uh, so you've got like um, Flory sanders and you've got UMP um, sanders the ultimate modeling products uh, there's also like the squadron ones and, and I mean there's a whole load of stuff there's even like nail files as well you know I've used a whole lot and I must admit these um, Infini ones um, I'm now talking about the spongy type are uh, far and away superior to anything I've ever had anywhere remotely near it I must admit they're, they're incredibly good, and there's such a jump up in um, quality. Uh, they last a lot longer, they, they do the job a lot better, they're a lot more precise, uh, they clean easier, uh, they're bigger, they're clearer with the grit. I mean, the Flory sanders don't actually even have grit sizes on them, which is a pain, it just does sort of colours, so you never really know what you're dealing with. You've just got kind of coarse, medium, or... Um, uh, I don't know what the uh, ever extreme of that would be. Smooth, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, I find that a bit of a pain. Um, I must admit the chamfered edge on the UMP sander is uh, very useful. Uh, but the quality of them, I mean, they, they go to nothing. After a few use, uses, they, they really start to deteriorate. Was, um, the one Those sponges I've just been showing you from Infini, I mean, I've had them for, I don't know how long now, quite a long time. Uh, so in the UK, I've uh, been buying all of these from a place called Premium Hobbies, uh, which is located, uh, well, it's local to me, but that doesn't really matter. They're, they're an online thing. They're, they're based in Western Supermare, but I don't actually know if he's got a, a bricks and mortar shop or anything, but their online service is extremely good. So, And their website's very clear as well and very cleanly uh, put together. So that's what I, um, that's where I buy this stuff from. He's also got a good range as well. It's mainly tools. He doesn't really bother with kits or anything. Tools and that sort of thing. So they're very good. Um, I'll pop uh, the website in the description. So if you're interested, you know, you can check them out. So I've moved on to the 600 now, just to try and come back a bit from uh, sanding quite as much. And uh, again, the, the same things apply. If I was using a 600 from the, the larger sponge range, I mean, we'd be going through this a lot more aggressively. Um, that is actually extremely smooth. It's almost like velvet feeling it. And it's not going, it's more buffing it out as opposed to actually sanding. So 
I'm sure it is sanding to an extent, but not quick enough for my liking. So the 400 is uh, is back here. Just trying to get actually through the um, through the sprue goo where it's actually not in the join. I'd like, I like to try and get back to the plastic, as it were. Um, I think what I'm doing here is actually not sanding the bit I'm trying to get to. I'm just going deeper and deeper. So I've moved out. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now we're now we're getting for it. Well, these are good. I can I can tell you that now. Um, yeah, they're they're very good, very precise. That's the thing I'm liking here, and um, you can all, I'm I'm sort of choosing how far I want to go down. It's it's not it's not a sort of guesswork. Whereas some sanders can be a little bit certainly at 400. I mean they they'd be very um we'd be going through it a bit too quick. Uh, so that's the 400. I'm going to concentrate on this side now. It's already very, very smooth. There's no scratches or anything. It's um, it's a very nice finish. So I'm going through now with the 600 just to try and bring it back a little bit and buff it up. Um, in fact, that seam is totally disappeared. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Uh, they are rigid, so that you know there's obviously a place for the spongy ones, um, because if you wanted to get down in here, you, you know you're going to be almost going at it. There's no give, so um, it'd be better to have a sponge there that's going to take on the curve a little bit. But yeah, overall, these are very nice. Doing a job. Right. So that's that. So for the sanding um, side of things. I guess that's what we're looking at. Maybe the 800 as well, you could come in, but I don't think you need to. You're almost ready for paint there just by using the 4 and the 600. Um, but if we go in with the the 8, we'll bring it back up a bit. So that's smoothed the whole bit out now, and you've sort of pulled the sanding um, area more across the whole width of the part to try and even it out. And then let's go in with the 1000 as well, just to see what happens. That's actually biting in a bit more, but that's probably because I haven't used this. That's another thing. Sanding sticks obviously do change the more you use them. I actually prefer them once you've sort of broken them in, as it were. Uh, they then tend to um, not really perform as their grit numbers would tell you. It's more, you know, you get a feel for it. You know, you know when you need a thousand, you know when you need a different number. Now here I've been using the 2000 and these to try and buff back some paint. So let's let's get something that's painted. Cool, blow me. Well, in that little uh, spot then, this uh, <laughs> we just had a bit of a problem. This was actually attached to a model, uh, which I just reached over to try and get and totally obliterated by hitting it on one of my lights. Uh, so the top wing came off. Uh, I've lost a leg and lost a wheel which I'm sure will um, expose itself at some point. And unfortunately, <laughs> it's left the part. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Right, that's something I'll sort out another day. So this is something where I've painted the markings on, these roundels. Um, and I, I was a little bit heavy where I was using um, some lacquers that you had to thin, which I wasn't quite used to. And uh, it's built up on the edge. So what I want to do here is just try and get rid of that edge. I've sanded it a little bit. So let's try some of these and see what happens. So. Not quite ready to go in. Well, I think let's try it. Let's see what happens. So, starting off with the 2000, and soon see what happens here. Obviously, you don't want to go through the paint, but there is always a place for sanding paint. I feel it always looks better if you just buff over it a little bit. And already that's taken the edge off. But I would say the 2000 there is a little bit too coarse. Probably explains the uh, colour difference. So let's move up to the 3000, and that's a bit more comfortable there, yeah, you can be a bit more aggressive and it's almost buffing as opposed to actually sanding. So I don't want to go any tighter in that on that spot, but we can go over the whole sort of roundel, just trying to take it back a bit. As you can see, it's, it's taken the colour off, which is what we want. Now again, that might have been a bit too coarse, so let's try the 5000, see what happens there. I don't um, have a, a massive amount of love for this model, so uh, if we do actually sand through this, and so be it. So we're starting to take off that purple there, which is an, is, is an acrylic, so it's going a little bit too much there, but already um, I've taken the edge completely off 
the red so maybe I should concentrate on the red and not the uh, not the purple uh, because the, the the purple here is Tamiya um, gloss whereas the yellow and the red are Mr Hobby lacquer so they're that's probably what we're looking at sanding lacquers because acrylics do tend to you tend to go through them a bit too quick I find but uh, I'm using a lot of lacquer at the minute so I think that's worked quite well that smooths that out considerably actually yeah, that's much better. And then, so going for completeness, if we go over with the 7000, and that will just bring it back to a sort of gloss finish. That's what we're getting there. Now, weirdly, these are a lot coarser than if you were using something like... Where is it? So on the Infinity range, the thing I usually use for buffing back is this. This is 4000. So this is what I'm saying from the point of view of these numbers. They don't seem to mean a lot, because this... If I go over here, for instance, it will start to squeak. I think you could go over here, you know, for a very long time and you're not ever going to sand anything. You're just kind of buffing back. It just brings it up to a really high shine. So these are quite useful if you've just got a, a loose edge. It will take off an edge that's just kind of sitting there. But if there's actually anything can, um, substantial to the thing that you're sanding, it's, it's not actually going to do much sanding. But as you can probably see, it's taken a, a, a very high shine there. Now, the 7000, let's see, that might buff this back and, and give it a sort of matte finish now. Take some of the shine off. Yes, it is. So we're obviously dealing with something a little bit different here. So I don't know what that is, but uh, you need to bear that in mind. Um, And obviously if you've got a set of these, you know you can do your own tests and make up your own mind. Um, yeah, it's biting a little bit more. As you can see, it, it's taking off paint, whereas this is not really taking off paint. It's just kind of smoothing the entire surface. As you might be able to see there. So, there you go. Um, I don't know if that was helpful. Hopefully it was. It was a little bit rambly, but... Um, I would suggest that uh, if you're working on stuff where you want a nice, very smooth finish, then these these are good. These will do it on plastic. A little bit heavy on paint, but um, if you go into that knowing it, you can get... They, they are useful. And then the blues, as it were, here. Um, well, they're very good for that precision sanding, like I said. This is... Um, I was only doing this last night, I've got a pair of these Dorniers on the go, and I was only doing this on the um, the other one, yesterday. And uh, I was using the larger sanders, so this is uh, performed very well actually, so I'll be reaching for I've almost been a bit, I don't know, not scared, but a bit um, hesitant to, to reach for these. So I almost didn't really know, I sort of bought them, I didn't really know what I was... <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to use them for, but certainly with the plastic, these darker blue ones, yeah, they're they're very good. In fact, that's that's in incredibly good sanding there. Um, so more for finishing. Once you've actually started to get to where you want to be, I don't think they're going to be too good for uh, really trying to grind through plastic if you need to do any of that sort of sanding. But yeah, a useful addition to the. Um, tools for modelling so um, like I said I've put a link to premium hobbies in the description below that's where I get them from not sure where else you'd get them from in the world uh, uh, in the wider world but uh, if you're in the UK I can certainly suggest premium hobbies uh, uh, I've dealt with them many times and um, it's been very good service so hopefully that was useful and um, hope you continue to enjoy the videos and I'll see you in the next one